everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today's video is going to be yet another Christmas hamper, here it is, and today I have done one from TK Maxx so I have slightly increased the budget to £30 just because I felt like TK Maxx compared to B&M and Home Bargains is a little bit more expensive so the budget needed to be slightly higher to be able to get a full hamper. I did film a little bit of footage inside TK Maxx showing you a lot of other gifts as well, so I'll include that footage now. While I uh, enjoy my hot chocolate, you guys can have a look and see what was new in TK Maxx. And then when that's finished, we'll come back and we'll unbox this hamper and I can show you everything that I picked up for, uh, well, I won't say under 30, it was like 30 pounds and 90p, something like that. So I was, I was pretty much on budget. Anyway, enjoy. glass mug so nice I've been really really enjoying this mug which I picked up from B&M about a month ago and I really love it I love how thin it is I love the fact that it's glass and it's just a really nice size as well it makes like quite a nice big hot chocolate so I've just been really really enjoying my hot chocolates from this mug I hope you guys are enjoying all of the festivities when this goes up which I'm actually gonna put this up tonight I'm filming it this morning and I'm hoping to get this edited and put up tonight I'm pretty sure it's the 29th of November so we're almost at December I have lots more videos planned I've got a gift guide coming up a Poundland hamper I'm actually taking a week off in December oh hello <laughs> you come to join us good boy you come to unbox the hamper with us um, I'm actually taking a week off in December and I'm doing lots of festive things. I'm having a little night away with my friend in a hotel and we're doing like wine tasting. Me and Ollie are going off with the dogs to a beautiful, I suppose it's like um like a log cabin, not far from, we live on the Isle of Wight and we're just going over to the South Downs National Park and we've booked a little log cabin there. Um, and it's got hot tub and everything and apparently like the stargazing is really good there and the sunsets, I mean probably can't get a sunset in December but we can hope. So we've got that planned and yeah just a really lovely week off. So I was actually going to vlog that whole Christmassy week so I could do a bit of a Christmas week vlog. And I think I'm going to put that one up on Christmas Eve as well. I feel like that would be a nice day to actually upload it. Anyway that was kind of just a bit of a an idea of what I'm going to be getting up to this month uh, video wise but I hope you guys enjoy spending December with me but yeah let's get unboxing what I picked up from TK Maxx grab yourself a nice hot chocolate or a hot drink of your choice if you haven't already got one okay so first up I picked up this gorgeous little telephone box it's like a London telephone box you know typical British looking telephone box and I just spotted this and thought actually it's really really cute little design and I, it's not really fest like Christmassy it doesn't have anything Christmassy on it but it just felt Christmassy to me I could just imagine it in London with like snow around it and it just felt Christmassy also um, I tried to do a colour theme on today's hamper of green and red so very very traditional colours the other two that I've done have been one was pink and one was orange so yeah I tried to keep this one green and red so it's a bit festive uh, but yeah this is the first thing I picked up and actually in here are tea bags you get 20 
English breakfast tea bags and it was normally £4.49 and I paid £2.99 for it and yeah I just felt like it was quite a cool little gift to add in. Also when you finished your tea bags it is actually a little money box as well so it's kind of handy too. I feel like this hamper could be for anyone as well, it has a real mix of things in it. I've left all the labels on everything just so I could tell you the prices but do you find in TK Maxx the labels, actually this one's going to come off nice and easy. Oh. How satisfying is that? It actually came off. But a lot of the labels, I did try and get one off the Panettone there that I've got. And yeah, I can't get the labels off them. It's just so annoying, isn't it? Because especially if you're buying gifts, you don't want big TK Maxx labels stuck on them. And sometimes they put them in the most annoying places as well. I just don't know why they do that. But anyway, um, this was the first thing. Next up, let's do the Panettone. This is actually a chocolate one. It's a little mini one. I should have put it in the hamper that way around, actually, because the label's that way, and I could have just put it in that way. Yeah, so this is what I picked up. They had loads of different ones of these. I think, actually, this is, like, maybe designed to hang off the tree or something. They had massive ones in there, and then they had these little mini ones. I thought the mini one was perfect for the hamper. And this is a chocolate one. And I paid... £2.49 for this which I thought was a good price. There was another one that I had my eye on which was a really big one and it was wrapped up so beautifully but it was £15 and I thought no we can't, it would fill the whole hamper up as well. I thought we can't spend that but if you are looking for some really nice panettone to take with you to someone's house Christmas day I feel like it's a nice little thing to bring as a gift to somebody because it's so nicely wrapped or just have it at home but yeah they had loads of options there to choose from okay next up i have picked up this massive chunk of soap i really really loved the packaging on this one there was so much choice in tk maxx when it came to soap i feel like i had about 10 different Christmas soaps to choose from and they all had really lovely patterns and designs on them. One of them that I almost got had, I think it was, was it a car on the front? Like a Christmas, Christmassy car, you know, like with a family traveling to someone's for Christmas or something. And then it had like a Christmas tree on the roof, but it was actual, it was actually a real Christmas tree decoration like attached to the soap, which I thought that one was really cool, but I ended up going for this one just because I, I, I like the kind of subtle packaging on it, but it's still Christmassy. It's in the scent Eucalyptus Pine and it's from the brand, oh, I'm going to say this wrong, aren't I? Ass. Asquith and Somerset and they had quite a lot from that same brand all different scents but this one oh it smells really good I also like this one because the smell of it was really nice as well lovely uh this one was £3.99 if you can hear any like weird noise in the background that's Dylan licking his paws and chewing them does anyone else that have dogs find that as soon as they get in bed, because we do let the dogs um, sleep on the bed, well, Belle sleeps under the bed, that's our collie, and Dylan sleeps on the bed. He's a lot smaller and he tends to just stay in one spot, so I don't mind him on the bed so much, but Belle, the collie, if she's on the bed, she's getting hot, walking around, laying next to you, laying on the pillow, so she's more annoying, so she tends to sleep under the bed. But Dylan sleeps on the bed, but the one annoying thing he does do, we're just like drifting off to sleep, and then all of a sudden you hear this. And he literally lays there for an hour cleaning his feet. And you're just like, in the end, like, Dylan, shut up. And he's getting, like, all in between his claws. And then he starts, like, chewing. And, oh, my God, honestly, it sounds cute sometimes. But when you're trying to sleep, it's really annoying. So if you can hear that now, that is what that noise is. Okay, next up, I picked up this Christmassy room spray. This is from the Sand and Fog range, which is always in TK Maxx. And I love all of their stuff. Um, this is actually in the scent Cinnamon Noel, which it smells so good. I did have a little sniff of it in the shop. And, oh, it smells lovely. It's quite, it's got that spicy undertone, but it's also a bit like fruity and fresh. So it works well as a room spray. And it, it does just smell very Christmassy. Oh, love it. And of course it was red, so it went perfectly in the hamper. Okay, next I picked up this reed diffuser. I really like this one because it just looked so Christmassy, like the packaging is just screaming Christmas. This is uh, from the brand Sydney Candle Co, Merry and Bright, and it's in the scent Sage and Eucalyptus, which that's the kind of scent I would go for. I love the sound of that. So, I mean, I'll probably gift this to someone maybe, or I might just, keep this for myself and set it up somewhere so it just I think it's going to smell really nice I might have a little smell of it in a minute if I can open it without ruining it we'll have a smell and I'll let you know what it's like oh hang on I don't even need to I didn't notice this before up here it has like a little flap 
which you open up and then you can actually smell it here. How cool is that? Oh, it's just as I imagined. It smells like something you'd want to put in the bathroom. It's got that pine, what's the, is it the duck? The duck pine uh, toilet cleaner. It smells like that, which I don't know if that's a good, I like that smell because it's like clean and fresh. If you don't like that smell, you probably wouldn't like this. But then it also smells a little bit woody and Christmassy as well, like a Christmas tree. It smells really good. Packaging is gorgeous, like perfect for Christmas. Oh, I didn't tell you how much the sand and fog spray was. I'll tell you that in a minute. But this one was £5.99, which I thought was quite good because I did find that the reed diffusers and candles in TK Maxx are getting really expensive. Like I normally would buy a sand and fog candle and I'm sure they used to be 5 99 or 6 99 but now for the kind of standard size one, uh, 8 99 so £9. And so obviously prices are going up a little bit but... Yeah, I thought this one for £5.99 was really good. And the Sand and Fog Room Spray was £5.99, which I do feel like, it. I don't know, it does seem more expensive than they used to. I'm sure something like this would have been like £3.99, but it's definitely gone up a little bit in price. Okay, next up, I picked up these. So these are Buff and Smooth, I think I'm saying this right, Cognac Sponge. Now, I've used these before. I really, really love them for exfoliating your body and like cleansing. So they're like little hard sponges in there, but when you get them wet, they expand and like loosen up, but they also still have a little bit of, I suppose like grit feeling to them so when you cleanse it really exfoliates your skin as well and these were actually a really really good deal as well it says that they were originally £10 and I paid only £2.49 for these so I'm really happy I feel like these are such a bargain and yeah you do get three in a pack three different colours you have a pink one a green one and a black one and yeah honestly they're just really nice to use I love them mmm yum Okay, last up in my hamper, I have included a game. Now, I love anything to do with like detectiveness type things and games like that. So this one stood out to me straight away. It's called the Sherlock Holmes The Challenge Trilogy. And I think in here you get three games included. So it comes in this really cool case and then it looks like you have like sort of three books in here. I really just love the look of this because it's like, well, I think it's three different games but very small and compact, so it goes really well in a hamper. Also, £12 reduced to £6.99, so it was a pretty good deal. Again, we've got the issue of the label. Although I think, actually, I'm going to keep this one for myself, just because I love playing games, and I feel like this is really good to like take to someone's house if you're invited over for a festive evening of drinks and games or something. Oh my god. Yay, have I done that? No. Yep, done. Okay, so it's got three different games. So the first game is called The Case of the Double Agent. And this one says that you rearrange the letters to form well-known characters, cases, words, or places related to Sherlock Holmes. You pick a character card and see who guesses your new identity first. Oh, so, oh, okay, I think. In the fur in this one, the case of the double agent, you have two games within there. So one is like an anagram game, and the other one's like a who am I game. So you pick a character card, and then the other people have got to guess your identity. And then in one of the other ones, you've got the case of the curious conundrums, which I think is just a load of riddles inside the book. So one of them is a horse-drawn carriage driver went down. Al Albemarle Street, a one-way street in London, in the wrong direction, but didn't break the law. How was this possible? If you know the answer to that, leave me a comment down below. I'm gonna have a little think about it. Oh, it tells me the answer underneath. Okay, interesting. Leave me a comment down below. I'll read it to you again. A horse-drawn carriage driver went down Albemarle Street, a one-way street in London, in the wrong direction, but he didn't break the law. How was this possible? And then in the last book, it says the case of the cryptic clue. So will you need all three cryptic clues to guess the mystery object? Oh, okay, so then it tells you like, so like here there's an example, London Bridge, and then it gives you clues, and then you've got to guess 
what you're talking about. So I feel like it's good. £6.99, you've got loads of games in here, and it's for two plus players, so it's quite nice if you're just a couple at home and you like playing board games or any game, um, it's quite nice you can play this one, because I often find it quite hard to find games for two people, apart from like card games. And that is it, that is everything that I have got in my hamper. This is the same hamper that I've used in every single hamper video. Uh, it was just from Home Bargains from their home collection range. I think it was six pounds, something like that. But it's just a really nice uh, hamper basket that you can obviously gift somebody and then they can actually make use of it as well. So yeah, that is everything that I got from TK Maxx. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be doing as many of these as possible as I can before Christmas. But it's just such a busy time of month, isn't it? I'm trying to get to like every single shop so that I can do more of these. But we'll see how I get on. I'll just do as many as possible. But I hope you're enjoying them and I hope you're all doing very, very well. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.